I can do pictures and videos of you videoing. <laughs> this is the ridiculousness <laughs> of a getting a video. Shop. Oh, last weekend, I ordered a whole bunch of shaper mint. Oh. Yeah, I did, because so it should be here this week. And as you check out, it's like, would you like to buy this two pack at yes. this reduced price? I'm like, like, I'm like, no. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, I would. And then, then it's like, would you like this, um, this shaper mint tape top that's normally 60 bucks for $17? I'm like, yes. And then it said, <laughs> would you like this other one for nine? Yes. So, so I got two tank tops and four bras for 195 bucks because when you're already buying something, they offer you reduced prices yes. on everything else. So. I'm like, I got two tank tops and four bras from Shaper Mint for $195. And now because I have the app, they give me special app prices and I can get the Shaper Mint leggings Ooh. for uh, 17 bucks because it's in the app. And that they're regular $85. Oh, oh. Yeah. Friggin' Lululemon, I'm so disappointed oh in my their gosh, stuff. This is really slippery. I know. My shoes are so dirty. I gotta wash them. Holy shit, man. I'm like gliding. Yeah, me too. Oh, they should put something on here, like sand. Throw some sand on it. That might wreck the wood, though. Yeah. I don't think I'll get the signs. I'll just do the walk. The walkie. So what else is new? Well, Susie's not at our school. Yeah. Most of the teachers are new. Like ours, both seven, eight teachers are new. Five, six is Jetlin, who I partnered with before. She was only half time though. Yeah, every teacher at our school is new. More, Which is good. Yeah, Olive, uh, Duck, Garms. Yeah, everybody's retired and mm -hmm. the only people that are left like the kindergarten teacher is still the same one um but then me jen and, and kelly are the certs so but all the classroom teachers are brand new and like i'm supposed to be part of my job is kind of coaching them and i cleaned up the gym equipment room and i'm cleaning the literacy room but oh my god like our school is so overwhelming like the seven eight teacher duck mm -hmm. i'm trying to help her i created an assignment for her and i'm like um your task is to plan a halloween party you have 200 dollars to spend on food and some of the food needs to be healthy options prepare a paperless invitation use um clips from flyers at, to show your groceries and your budget um, and plan some games and create a music list of a minimum of 10 songs. So then it's covering um, media, it's covering environmental, they're doing writing, they're doing financial literacy. I'm like, you need to leave your assignments open-ended because she has 27 kids in her class and 16 of them are on IEPs and can barely read mm. or do math. And she's like, how am I supposed to teach them? I'm, and I thought about like, how would I do it? I, and I'm like, I would do open-ended assignments like that and tell them they need to make it in Google, Google Slides. And, and then you're gonna get out of them what they can do. Because mm -hmm. how do you do that without yeah. killing yourself? when kids are at all different levels like she's a new teacher she's already ended up in oh she has, stress yeah a distended bowel oh like diverticulitis stress is not good for her no really not good okay. not good yeah. for anybody but especially with that they tell you to avoid any and all stress and yeah that class is like Ugh. there's one non-verbal autistic that gets really aggressive another uh, autistic boy um, and there's a whole but like I assessed a bunch of them in there and they're at grade four and five math level and they're in grade seven and eight 
they're going to have a tough time in high school. Yeah. And it, that kind of thing sits really heavy with me. I feel sick. Yeah. Because it's like we're failing them.